Monsoon 2020 is in the books and so is the first run of ADOT's dust detection and warning system. So how did it go? Meteorologist Jorge Torres finds out. If you've driven to Tucson from Phoenix along I-10, you've likely seen warning signs of blowing dust ahead, and with good reason. On I-10 between Phoenix and Tucson, half of all dust-related crashes happen in that area. He's referring to this stretch between Picacho Peak and Eloy in Pinal County, where earlier this year, ADOT launched its first dust detection warning system, and it includes more than signs. We have a long range and a short range radar that are made by different companies. We had cameras, we had uh, the, the electronic message boards overhead for drivers. We had a variable speed limit system to slow drivers down when, it, uh, when visibility was reduced by the dust storm. There weren't many dust storms this monsoon season, but one storm in August put the system to the test, and it worked. Drivers, for the most part, really did slow down. They slowed down from uh, driving about 75 miles an hour to driving about 40, 45 miles an hour. So uh, everything worked. Drivers responded the way that we hoped that they would. The nice part is we don't have any big crashes to report from, uh, from that day in Pinal County. The sample size was small, so more testing will need to be done. But if it remains successful, along with increased funding, we can now take it uh, anyplace else, maybe on I-10 down by uh, New Mexico. There have been dust storm issues down there. One other possibility, ADOT tells me, is applying this technology for winter storms as well, specifically along I-40 in northern Arizona. Reporting from Phoenix, Jorge Torres, ABC 15, Arizona.